we turned our whole company towards uh, attempting to land on the moon to return the United States to the moon for the first time in 52 years. Nova C uses an environmentally friendly mixture of liquid methane and liquid oxygen. Incredibly challenging thing like landing on the moon forced us to innovate. Food of Machines has built an entire space program to support these CLIPS missions. The company completed its lunar lander in a new facility at the Houston Spaceport, just down the street from NASA's Johnson Space Center. It's an autonomous Nova Sea class lunar lander named Odysseus. Lunar lander arrived at Kennedy Space Center in Florida back in December. Since then, teams have been integrating the spacecraft to Falcon 9's second stage in preparation for launch. Go I am one and the Odysseus lunar lander. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. An incredible sight to see. Odysseus lunar lander separation confirmed. Our Nova Sea lunar lander has successfully separated from the second stage of the launch vehicle, autonomously commissioned, and made first communications contact with Nova Control. Yesterday, Intuitive Machines published the first IM-1 images, capturing our home as our lander drifted away towards the moon. These images are only a few of what our Nova C-class lunar lander actually sent to Houston. It takes a lot of planning, work, and a little bit of luck to get images like these. Payload integration managers program the lander's wide and narrow field of view cameras to take five quick images every five minutes for two hours, starting 100 seconds after separating from SpaceX's second stage. So what we actually got back to Earth looks something like this. Out of all these images, the ones we chose to show humanity's place in the universe came down to four wondrous images that we hope inspire the next generation of risk takers. Right now, flight controllers are preparing planned trajectory correction maneuvers ahead of lunar orbit insertion. Ignition, throttle pause, main stage, fly ups one, full thrust, shut down. One team, you just executed a main stage maneuver with the most advanced engine humanity's flown in deep space. Congratulations. You're taking a live look into Intuitive Machines' Nova Control in Houston, Texas, where flight controllers are preparing to start the landing sequence for the IM-1 mission. I'm Josh Marshall, Communications Director of Intuitive Machines. And I'm Gary Jordan with NASA Communications. Two to 10 kilometers, downrange 1,100 kilometers. Take minus five minutes. We are standing by for powered descent initiation. Three minutes to touchdown call from the mission director. Confirm that looked like a pitch over gimbal. Sounds like we have some data that confirms pitch over. This starts the HDA process. That's hazard detection avoidance. Less than one minute remaining to touchdown. And again, that's the time of touchdown. It may take some time to actually confirm the status of the lander. May take a minute for comms to reestablish. Stand by. There it is, mission director beating us to it. We've reached the expected time of landing, but now is the process of waiting for comms, and we are in standby mode, as you heard it from the mission director, Dr. Tim Crane. It's picking up a signal from our high gain antenna and uh, transmitter. It's faint, but it's there. So stand by, folks. We'll see what's happening here. All stations, this is uh, mission director on IM1. We're evaluating. Uh, how we can refine that signal and uh, dial in the pointing for our dishes. We can confirm, without a doubt, as our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting. So, congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. An excellent call, and this is our team of Intuitive Machines mechanics and their families, their friends, everyone who has Catch sacrificed so much to make it this to, far. Uh, Intuitive Machines has successfully soft landed the company's Nova C-class lunar lander named Odysseus on the moon, marking the United States' first lunar landing in over 50 years since Apollo 17. Before its power was depleted, Odysseus finished a fitting farewell transmission. Received February 29th, this image from February 22nd showcases the crescent Earth in the backdrop, a subtle reminder of humanity's presence in the universe. Good night, Odie. We hope to hear from you again.
he stomped our names into the lunar soil and kicked open the door for a thriving cislunar economy to follow by completely changing the economic barriers of entry for exploring the heavens. Technically, he's powered by the sun and methyl ox, but the truth is, Odie's heart is powered by the passion of every single mechanic to explore and discover, to push the boundaries of what's possible, and that's exactly what he did. I'd like to go hot mic all around the room and let Odie hear how much we love him. 